is a peaceful, rainy Saturday. And I'm thinking back on how I was in my 20s, you know. I've fallen in love so many times, you know. Had these feelings that, oh, this person is special, or oh, this person is the one, or they're the love of my life. You know, it seems so silly when I think about it now, how, how naive I was. You know, some of us fall in love very rarely. Some of us fall in love a lot or think that we do. I think about the moments in my past, you know, certain jobs or experiences where I thought, oh my gosh, this is the best time of my life. Or this is the worst time of my life. How the hell am I going to get through this? And I think about these moments as we grow older and we reflect on the experiences that we've had and the things that we thought we knew and were maybe wrong or maybe sometimes we were right. And we make these qualifying statements. Oh, this is the best. This is the worst. This is the great love of my life. This is the best experience of my life or the worst, right? When we're, when we're going through times of challenge. And I was thinking this morning about my old self, if I am so fortunate to be old, right? The version of me that is at the very end of my life, kind of realizing that she's the only one who knows what the best experiences of my life were or will be, what the worst experiences were, who the great loves of my life will be only standing at the end looking back and so I think about that and I encourage you to kind of visualize the version of you at the very end of your life and maybe you'll be 80 maybe you'll be 90 maybe you'll be 60 or 45 the one thing we are not guaranteed is time we never know how much time we will have but the one thing we are guaranteed is that there will be a version of us at the very end of our life who will have all the secrets, all the wisdom, all the knowledge of the events of our life, the people in our life, and who meant the most to us, who were the great loves of our life, and maybe it's a romantic partner, maybe it's a child, maybe it's a best friend, maybe it's a grandparent, maybe it's all of those people. But only that individual at the very end of our life knows what the entirety of our life meant, what our story meant. And so thinking about that, going into the weekend, going into the rest of your life, the rest of my life, reminding myself that I may have an experience that I feel is so terrible. This has to be the worst day, the worst year, but I don't know. And I can overcome it, right? We get stronger and wiser as we grow. <clears throat> or I may meet someone that I feel is the love of my life. Or maybe this is the best experience of my life. But I don't want to rob the version of me at the very end from her wisdom by making those qualifying statements at the age of 37. Because when we do that, we rob ourselves of the experience of what's to come right? There's so much in our future. And yes, there will be suffering. There may be worse experiences still that than we've lived up until now, but we'll be stronger then. There will be more beautiful, more loving experiences than we could possibly even imagine in our future. So having the humility to say, when I'm having an amazing experience or a really challenging experience, <clears throat> Or I have someone in my life that I love very much and I believe I know everything that they'll mean to me. Reminding myself that I don't know. And it's okay to be grateful for this moment and to appreciate everything that it brings. Reminding myself that, that it's precious, that life is precious. And we never really know the sum of all of our loves, all of our moments until we get to the end and so knowing that that woman is my destiny she is the wise one the smart one the one with all the answers i will 
look up to her to tell me when I get to the end what it all meant. Just a little bit of Saturday wisdom.